Welcome into Texans today. I'm your host, Jeremy Chuggs. And yes, we didn't get a full Hall of Fame game today. It uh, stopped in the third quarter due to inclement weather. But we're still going to break down everything that happened in this game today as the Bears win 21-17. But like I said, game ended with about three minutes left in the third quarter. So not a lot to go off of. But here are the stats for this game. Davis Mills looked fantastic in his time playing. He played in the first quarter and the uh, second quarter of this game. 10 for 13, 102 yards and a tutty. J.J. Taylor was the top running back. Not a good running game for the Texans today. Six carries, 16 yards for J.J. Taylor, who was the top running back for this squad. And Xavier Hutchinson was really good at receiver. Five receptions, 56 yards, not a touchdown, but seemed to be getting open quite a bit in the first half for this team. Was the best receiver in my eyes for this Texans squad. Brett Rippon was lighting up the Texans' defense. All three touchdowns came from the arm of Brett Rippon. Maybe he should be the starting quarterback for the Chicago Bears. Just kidding. Obviously, it's Caleb Williams. But he looked fantastic up against the Texans' third and four stringers today. Khalil Herbert, four carries for 35 yards. And Colin Johnson, with a couple of nice catches, had a, uh, a couple of receptions, 56 yards, and uh, two touchdowns on the day for Colin Johnson. And if you haven't already, we gained over 100 subscribers from this live show today. So if you haven't, go down and hit that sub button for daily Texans videos all year long. More watch parties to come. We are the fastest growing Texan channel on YouTube for good reason. So go down and hit that sub button and don't miss a moment of Texans football this year by going to youtube.com slash Texans TV or just going down and hitting that sub button to turn it gray and make sure you are the most updated Texans fan that you could possibly be. Well, and the reason why you sub is for news like this. Lonnie Johnson Jr. left the game due to injury. The former second round pick from the Houston Texans looking to find his way back onto the squad has bounced around from a couple teams, but he left the game with an injury. We'll keep you updated on that front because he was not the only Texan to leave the game with injury. I know uh, Jacob Hansen left the game as well. Tegan Couturiano left the game as well due to injury. So stay tuned for tomorrow. We're going to keep you updated with all those injuries and let you know what's going on with those guys. The Texans offense against the Chicago Bears looked pretty good in the first half with one Davis Mills. And like I said at the beginning of this game, he was a guy who was really looking to prove himself, really looking to show something of what he's got because he was the starter for this team until C.J. Stroud got drafted. Now a backup and getting close to that contract, you know, being up with the Houston Texans. And he's looking for future possibilities of maybe he wants to possibly start somewhere, but also looking to be a backup later on in this league. So Davis Mills really showed out today, looked very good, looked like he had command of the pocket, 10 for 13, 102 and a touchdown. Case Keenum looked decent as well. The veteran, the Houston native, 7-9, 78 yards and a touchdown for Case Keenum. He looked very good as well. The quarterback room looked solid. Tim Boyle did okay. Didn't really get a lot of opportunities because, you know, at the end of the day, the game ended with three minutes left in the third quarter. So Tim Boyle only got a couple of drives. Didn't really get to show his stuff. I want to know from you folks at home, grade the play of Davis Mills against the Bears, A, B, C, D, or F. I'd have to say it's somewhere around a B or an A for me because he took care of the football. He had an insane highlight where it was a bootleg. The defensive end read it perfectly, and he kind of hit him with the juke move, made the defender fall, and made a nice play on the ball. I mean, Davis Mills looked really good to me. I, a B or an, uh, or an A, in my opinion. He looked fantastic up against the Chicago Bears today jj taylor like i said he looked really good as well six carries for 16 yards but not only that for guys like jj taylor to make this squad to make the team you're gonna have to make plays on special teams and that's exactly what jj taylor did he got the fumble recovery on a muff punt from dante pettis from the chicago bears jj taylor was able to come up with it plays like that extra hustle plays making sure you get your hands on the ball that is stuff that helps you make this squad. J.J. Taylor, hats off to you. A guy trying to make this 53-man roster. And he showed a little bit of something like uh, that he could, you know, help in special teams, help in the running back room as well. Xavier Hutchinson, another guy that looked really good today. Five receptions for 56 yards. Kept on getting open down the field. So Xavier Hutchinson, there's a battle for that wide receiver six on this squad because you have the first five. You have Nico Collins, Stephon Diggs, Tank Dell, 
John Mechie, and Noah Brown. That sixth guy, up for grabs. It could be Xavier Hutchinson, could be uh, Ben Skoranek, could be Steven Sims. All up for that sixth wide receiver spot. Xavier Hutchinson making his case be known today. Rookie, Cade Stover, looked pretty good. Two receptions, 26 yards. Did get beat on one um, one play where he was run blocking. Run blocking looked okay. But Cade Stover looking good so far in this game. What you want to see out of your rookies. The offense overall, 244 yards for the Texans. Passing game, 19-27 to 27 for 190 yards. Rush game, not so good. 21 carries for 54 yards. But it is what it is. It's the preseason. No turnovers, though. What you want to see out of your, you know, second, third string guys, not putting the ball on the ground, not turning it over. So good job, good job of the Texans offense in this game of not really giving the ball to the Bears defense. We'll break down some more guys in just a moment, but you got to check out our sponsor of today's program. And the reason why the lights are on here at Chat Sports, it's game time. Texans football is here. Make sure you never miss an opportunity to watch this team in person with our sponsor, Game Time. With game time, you can expect last-minute deals. You can save up to 60% off buying last-minute tickets for sports, concerts, comedy shows, and theater. All in pricing. You can toggle this feature. So you see the total upfront price. No BS, no surprise fees at checkout. You can also see your seat view. Get a panoramic view from your seat in the app before you buy your ticket. And the lowest price is guaranteed. If you find another seat for the same event in the same row, same section, that is cheaper. Game time will credit you 110% of the difference. That is the game time promise. So take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time today. Download the game time app. Create an account and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Term supply. Again, create an account and redeem code C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S for $20 off your first purchase. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. The Bears offense was being stifled, really, in the first half going up until, you know, the last drive. And then, really, Brett Rippon started to take them apart. Um, Kalen Bullock, which that's not the right picture, Jack, if you want to change that. Kalen Bullock looked pretty good. Uh, there was one turnover, a fumble that was recovered in special teams, but the Texans DBs, a couple of the backup guys, Chris Boyd, a couple of the other backups, were getting a little bit shredded by Brett Rippon and one Colin Johnson, the former Texas Longhorn. Somebody that I did want to see something out of, and it was one of my guys that I really wanted to see something out of in the defensive tackle room was seventh round pick Marcus Harris out of Auburn. I thought he made a couple of nice plays on the ball, got in the backfield a couple of times, looked really good on the interior of that defensive line. Another guy who I kind of gave a shout out to pregame, and he had a couple of nice plays, UDFA Max Tooley. He wasn't in the game long. Like I said, game ended in the third quarter, so he didn't get a ton of run. But the snaps that he was out there, he looked pretty good, if you ask me. He looked pretty good. Max Tooley showing out, trying to make this roster as a UDFA. And then rookie safety out of USC, the third-round pick who they traded up for, Kalen Bullock, five tackles on the day, led the team, I believe, in tackles. You know, in coverage was okay, but <clears throat> Kalen Bullock really showing why he could possibly start for this Texans team on the back end. Now, I don't know. You know, he didn't really get tested a ton in coverage, so I can't really evaluate him on that. But my biggest concern with Bullock was his tackling, was able to get five tackles, didn't really have any uh, missed tackles this game that I saw that were uh, glaring from Kalen Bullock. So he looked pretty good in this game, even though, like I said, ended early due to inclement weather. Overall, this Texans game, we saw a lot of the second and third stringers, and Something that I really wanted to, you know, highlight is we saw Juice Scruggs and Kenyon Green both play at the start of this game, both starting for this team. And D'Amico Ryan said, we're going to bench all the starters. I mean, hell, they even benched rookie Kamari Lasseter, the second-round pick out of Georgia. But they went ahead and played the starting center and starting guard. I wonder if they were just saying, hey, these guys need more reps. These guys need more playing time. Or if maybe there weren't enough guys on the offensive line to really fill out that interior and they wanted to have those guys start to protect Davis Mills and at least see what Davis Mills can do in the first half. I'm not sure, but I did find it really interesting that Juice Scruggs and Kenyon Green did play in the game, even though both of them supposed to be starters for this team. I want to know from you, who is the best player for the Texans today? Who is the best player in the game? Let me know down in the comment section. MVP for the Texans. If you had to give one out, let me know down below who is your MVP, the most valuable player that you think 
the Texans had in this game up against the Chicago Bears, the Hall of Fame game that ended in 21-17. That's all I have for you on today's show, folks. Like always, make sure you hit that sub button for daily Texans content all year long. More live shows to come, more watch parties, a lot more fun. So don't miss a thing. We are your one-stop shop for Texans news and rumors for good reason. We deliver the goods every single day. So if you haven't already, it's 100% free. What are you waiting for? Go down and hit that sub button or go to youtube.com slash Texans TV.